Despite wind and rain, 12 nonprofit organizations gathered at the Hall of Flags in Augusta for a main association of nonprofits, Nonprofit Day. Our annual Nonprofit Day is always about getting the nonprofit sector comfortable about um, being part of the legislative process. So we invite um, all of our members every year to apply for one of our coveted 12 spots here in the Hall of Flags and we then choose 12 exhibitors based on size, geographic location, and mission. So we try to get a real diverse representation of the nonprofit sector every year. And then we encourage them to reach out to their legislators, invite them to visit them. Representatives from the various nonprofits were happy to share information about their organizations with legislators and the general public. The Charlotte White Center is a social service and community agency um, based out of Piscataquis County up in Dover Foxcroft and our mission is serving individuals and families and children with developmental and um, cognitive behavioral disabilities. We serve in residential programs, in home support programs, and a variety of our outpatient services. Coastal Studies for Girls is the country's first leadership semester school for girls that focuses on science and leadership. It's for 10th grade girls and students from all across the country in Maine will come to Wolfnet Farm in Freeport where we're located and study for 16 weeks. Our focus is on marine ecology and leadership but we also have classes in English, history, math, Spanish or French. And the focus on science and leadership is, is really what makes us unique. Community Television Network in Portland, we help our nonprofits advertise themselves. We have many individuals who come in and, and take classes. We teach um, film, um, uh, uh, studio production, editing. And once a, uh, an individual is certified in those areas, there are um, able to, to check out our equipment free of charge to film programming that we air on our television channel. Day one is a um, service for youth and young adults who were, have substance abuse problems and uh, mental health as well. And our mission is to reduce substance abuse throughout the state of Maine. Our mission is to foster stewardship for the earth by teaching the science of ecology and the practice of sustainability. We do that through uh, residential and uh, one-time trips to our Oceanside campus at Ferry Beach in Saco. Um, we work with kids of all ages, which means adults too. And they learn all about ecosystems, uh, animals, habitats, um, how they interact with their environment and, and get them, get kids outside to appreciate um, what we have here in Maine and to appreciate what they can do to make that last. The Iris Network provides vision rehabilitation services throughout the state of Maine so that people with vision loss uh, have the skills to retain their independence and be active in their communities. The Maine Support Network is a nonprofit in Reedfield, Maine. We have a lot of different grants um, that focus on education, professional development, health, um, disability services, um, a, lot of, a lot of variety. But the overarching theme of all of the work we do is called celebratory learning. Um, it's really making learning fun and in an environment that allows us to soak up all the information and work, to work together collaboratively. Maine Community Action Association. The mission of our association is to provide resources for the uh, alleviation of the causes and conditions of poverty. Museum LA is a story of work and community. We were founded in 1994 and uh, what we do is we tell the stories of the mill workers, the shoe workers, the brick workers in our community and we've been doing that, uh, we've been exhibiting since the year 2007. It's a perfect time for this to happen. Um, there's a resurgence of downtown, uh, more businesses, development, and we're looking to be a catalyst for development around our area and for the Lewiston Auburn community kind of a revival, uh, a pride in their history. Our goal is to, to look at and change the um, attitude towards crime and punishment 
And we, so we work with um, the adult populations that are involved with the courts, uh, working with the jails and the prison in reentry types of formats. And we also work with adolescents as a court diversion program and with schools to look at how they are addressing detention, suspension, and expulsion, um, and really looking at how, how do we keep these people in community rather than alienating them from community. Volunteers of America is a national faith-based organization, and our mission is to reach and uplift all people. We have 38 affiliates around the country, and our affiliate here in Maine is from northern New England, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. And we provide services all over the state. We have correctional programs, reentry centers, county pretrial programs. We also have um, homeless youth programs. We provide um, affordable senior housing for seniors throughout the state. And we also have services for people with severe mental illness. At noon, Maine Association of Nonprofits gave a presentation about the future of the nonprofit sector. We're thrilled to be here today in the People's House, uh, representing a bunch of great organizations that uh, improve the lives of pe the Maine's people. The legislature really is uh, ill-equipped to build a new social safety net, and that's really the responsibility of the members of the Maine Association of Nonprofits. And uh, today, MAMP is really con announcing that it plans to convene the work of the members over the next several months to create a new model to provide social services in Maine. Those of you who are ready to make changes, you will be in the vanguard of the future. We have tried to uh, blunt uh, some of the uh, cuts. We're blunting the 10 percent. Uh, we've uh, been able to restore the money for cities and towns for general assistance. and. We will do other kinds of uh, help, but we're not going to do it all. There will be cuts and there will be changes, and the system will change. This is Tom Handel for Community Update.